Hi to all. Today um, I want to show how to use the data from Caedium Simscape. We have here a model for which for for which we have run um, a fluid flow analysis and uh, there are all the, the city, the buildings in the city and the membrane inside uh, uh, inside this environment and uh, the analysis has been run and we have a plot here uh, on the left window a plot of the CP values and we see that it ranges from minus 1 to plus 73 so these are the CP values on the top surface on the right window we have a plot of the CP values um, on the bottom surface we can see that they are um, the plot is different this one here, if we compare it to to this one, so the values. Of course, we have a pressure uh, on the top surface and the pressure on the bottom surface. We can uh, mm, plot, if we want, the pressure on the top surface, the color map, and this is the pressure. And we see at the bottom here, these are newtons per square meter. So we have, we go from uh, minus uh, 92 dega newtons up to uh, 50, 60 uh, dega newtons is the red. This is a pressure. Even in, th even in this case, we have a pressure on the top face and a pressure on the bottom face. What we want to do now is to export this data to x for ten, x cube for ten, and um, use the CP values for then calculating uh, wind load. The first thing that we have to do is um, select all edges and we hide them then we select the surface top and we set it to uh, flat so we have this we see the surface so once we have this surface uh, we see the mesh of the mesh used by Cadium to simulate the, the analysis. Uh, we can go to export and export this surface as an object. Wavefront alias wavefront object. Here it is. So we have saved the surface. Once you have done that, we can turn back edges. We can unhide edges. Now we would like to plot uh, the CP values. So we drag and drop the CP values on the model. And here I have created a group of the top and the bottom surface. So I select the group. And then we choose the XY plot of the CP values. And here it is. This is a plot of the CP values over the surface. Now that we have this, we can go to File and export them as um, a plot values. There it is, CP values 45. So we have saved we have saved the data from the fluid dynamics. Uh, let's go to Xcube now. This is the same model that uh, we have used it for running the simulation. 
the same model, but the mesh is completely different. The reason why we need to save the Caedium mesh. So, once we have this, we can go to the plugins and go to the CFD importer. The first thing that we do is that we import the membrane exported from Caedium. Uh, when we import the membrane, it will tell us the number of faces that have been found on this uh, on this mesh. So we have imported the membrane. Now we need to import the CSV value data. So we go and we have two. We, we select 45. Uh, this one here. So the software parses that data, and we see here in the um, in the channels of the data we see a memtop it's telling us that it's C cp values and 16000 uh, values and a membot so we select both of these first one and second one and then we say add mesh part once we add the mesh part in the data we see top side mem top and bottom side mem bot. Uh, if we make a mistake here we can use the flip top bottom you see these have been flipped right now top side it's the mem bot and the bottom side is the mem top but this is the correct way why do we need this we have cp values of calculated on the top surface and cp values calculated on the bottom surface but we need combined CP values. That means CPE minus CPE. So the outside minus the inside CP values. So, for example, if uh, uh, the wind is pushing the internal uh, surface and it is pulling the, the surface at the same point outside, the two CP values are combined or summed. So, once we have done this, we have 10 channels. We choose one of these channels. I will use a new one here. And uh, I will call it um, CP452. This is the name of the channel we are going to import. Since we are importing CP values, we will not use uh, these options here. Of course, we can import not only CP values but also pressure and apply directly the pressure on the surface. In this case, we have to select here uh, the units of the pressure, Newton per square millimeter, whatever they are. This is not our case since we are using, we are importing only uh, CP values. So, this is the name of the channel. I have selected all the data and then we click on set data. The software will find and interpolate the mesh imported from Caedium over the mesh inside the current modem and uh, fill in the channel with uh, the imported data. Once we have done this, we can go to plot options and we can give a look at the imported channel data. And these are the CP values over the surface. We can see, if we look from top, we have 0 0.75 here, positive pressure over this area, and minus 0 0.85 is the blue area over here. There's one thing to say now, that if we compare these CP values with, uh, this is a nice fluid flow of the results, so I was saying, if we compare these values with the plots inside Cadium, we see that they are different. Uh, this is the top surface, and here uh, we have, for example, uh, in this area, in this area here. If I go and I smooth, I cut out the ranges. Yeah, the values are 
minus 0.6 in this area uh, but here we have minus 0.85 for the simple reason that the CP values of the outer surface and the inner surface have been summed up. Now we have CP values and we have all these channels filled with CP values. How can we use this data? Well, let's take off this plot. So the first thing that we do, uh, we select all the mesh, like this, and we make a save it selection, like this. A selection of all the mesh, you can see here, uh, all, it's a save it selection of the mesh. Once we have this, we can go into the script tools and we'll find some um, uh, wind load generators. We can recall the Eurocode wind loads here. Um, this table requires the input of the wind speed and um, the position of the building under the parameters. Uh, what we are interested in the CP values is from the CP channel, channel and uh, let's we have here all the channels filled in with different uh, wind directions so we, we ask for example, we say for example 45 degrees and then wind 45 and then we can generate the pressure loads calculated all the pressure values, we can close here and uh, in the plots uh, we can we can plot the final values and these other forces uh, take care that uh, we are using uh, as the units uh, kilograms so these are 100 kilograms per square meter is the red and minus 136 kilograms uh, is the blue area so these now are uh, pressure pressure values uh, that's all for today uh, thank you for watching